Internet Principles of Operation Internet The Internet can be defined as the interconnection of computer systems. It utilizes the TCP IP protocol. It can be accessed using 3G modem, broadband, etc. The Internet is accessible to everyone worldwide and contains billions of web pages and tons of information. Information on the web can be accessed via a search engine. Hyperlinks are used to browse web pages whereas files like video, audio, text, etc. can be retrieved or shared by downloading and uploading respectively. Today, the internet is also widely used for communication purposes. WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype are all examples of communication using the internet. Working on the internet The TCP IP protocol makes the retrieval and transmission of information possible. When you send a request, it goes through the network to the DNS that is domain name server. The DNS then points the request in the right direction and it reaches its targeted server. Once the request has been received by the server, it can send back a response to the computer system that sent the request. The response sent by the server can take a completely new path. The internet is a powerful tool and one major reason for it is its flexible approach to data transfer. Browser it is a web application that enables internet users to access various web pages. It is responsible for translating the basic HTML code to allow internet users to see videos, images, audio, hyperlinks, etc. When a user enters a URL in the browser, it requests the web server for the information. The web server then displays the requested information on the computer screen in a browser application. The most commonly used browsers are Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Safari. You can either go to a web page by directly entering the URL if you know it, or you can click on the links and different web pages to navigate to your desired web page. For example, use of a search engine like Google. Typical features of a browser toolbar. It has a home button that allows you to go to the first page that you started off with the internet. It has a bookmark or favorite feature that allows you to save web pages to access them immediately later. It also allows you to directly print web pages. It allows you to track, monitor or remove your web free. It allows you to go to a previous page using the back button or go forward. Internet Servers The machines on the internet can be divided into two types, clients and servers. Servers are machines that provide services to other machines such as FTP servers, etc. On the other hand, clients are user machines that are connected to get the services offered by the servers. Any machine can be a server or a client or both. For example, if you use Google to search your query, you are using your machine which acts as a client. Whereas Google has multiple machines that are fulfilling your request and acting as a server. Internet Service Provider ISP Internet Service Provider can be defined as a company that provides the internet connection to businesses and individuals. It generally takes a monthly fee to provide an internet connection. The monthly fee is usually based on the speed of the internet as well as the bandwidth provided. The internet service provider usually sets up a user account with a password and username. Some ISPs also offer web building, emails, hosting, etc. ISPs have become common in the 1990s prior to that 
Internet access was limited to government agencies and universities. Hypertext Transfer Protocol HTTP The HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, as its name suggests, is a protocol that is used for transmitting messages or data files over World Wide Web. Any protocol can be defined as a set of rules. When you browse websites using the browser, you are in fact using this protocol. Today you might notice the use of HTTPS more than HTTP. HTTPS is actually the secure and encrypted version of this protocol. It is a crucial protocol when browsing websites and it cannot be ignored. Beside it, another important protocol is HTML that deals with the formatting and display of the web pages. HTTP identifies the following methods to understand the required action. Head. Without the response body, it asks about the GET request. GET. Request with a response body the specified source presentation. POST. Submits data to convert it from HTML to the identified source form. Put. It uploads a specified source representation. Delete removes the source specified. Trace allows the user to see changes by servers to the specified request by echoing it back. Options It checks web servers functionality for a specified URL by returning HTTP method. Connect it converts the connection to TCP IP tunnel to provide encrypted communication by facilitating SSL via an unencrypted HTTP proxy. HTML Structure and Presentation It is the language used to create web pages. The browser is responsible for the interpretation of HTML pages. There are two types of HTML structure and presentation. HTML structure is responsible for defining the structural markup as well as the semantics of HTML pages, whereas what we see in the web browser is called HTML presentation, that is multimedia use and appearance. The HTML presentation is also known as style. Both HTML structure and presentation should be written separately. That is, the developer should have an HTML doc and a CSS cascading style sheet that deals with the presentation of the web page. MAC addresses and IP addresses. MAC addresses. It stands for Media Access Control Address. It is a 48-bit unique value that helps in the identification of the actual device on the internet. The MAC address remains the same even when you connect to the internet from any location. It can be found inside your device and IC, that is network interface card. Example of a MAC address can be seen here. 00120EA6B068 where the first half identifies the manufacturer and the second half is the device serial number. IP addresses It stands for Internet Protocol Addresses. It is a unique identifier that every device on the internet has. It represents the device location and allows these devices to communicate over the internet. Without IP addresses, accurate data communication and transfer over the internet will not be possible. An IP address is assigned to your device by ISP when you connect to the internet for a session. An IP address is like a home address that helps in the successful delivery of packages. Therefore, unlike MAC addresses, IP addresses change each time your device is connected to the internet. On the screen, you can see an example of an IP address. URL It stands for Uniform Resource Locator. It is an address that allows the World Wide Web to identify and load the requested web page in the browser. Example of a URL is can be seen here. 
A URL has three parts. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash is the access protocol. www.olevelacademy.com is the domain name and anything written after that will be the path or file name. If nothing is written, then it will take you to the home page of the website. Cookies. They are the text files saved on the web server request on the user's machine by a browser. It can only be read by the website that created it and can store a limited amount of data. Some websites add a unique identification code in the cookie to store data in their database, avoiding cookie size limitation. These are not malware, viruses, or any other programs that can perform actions. You can easily disable these from your browser setting. Uses of cookies To maintain and store on a website user preferences. To collect user behavior analytics. To store shopping cart items. And to show relevant ads. If you like this video, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel.